Got here. These are the golden beets. These are the golden beets and then the red beets in the back. This is all red beets. These, uh, this half is uh, sweet peppers and then jalapenos in the back. Onions, 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 and then this is the very first batch of onions from the first of April. Welcome back. It's the middle of June and I wanted to make a quick video to show you just an update on where we're at. Things are changing fast around here. We've been really busy. It's hard to find time to make these videos, but I want to just kind of show you everything that I've been doing because uh, um, it's, it's fun to see it all grow and it doesn't look anything like last year. That's for sure. I'm here in my second greenhouse. I put this up about a month ago. I made it out of a reclaimed carport uh, that I got for free, covered it in greenhouse plastic. Um, I'm using this landscape fabric with holes that burnt in it, uh, and this drip irrigation, and it's all been working out really well, and I'm just super excited to, to see all this growth in here, and uh, everything is, uh, these beets have, uh, and the onions, uh, and these beets over here have been in the ground for three weeks now. Uh, the beets are ready to harvest. Uh, these peppers, uh, I think they're jalapenos, and then there's some sweet peppers also, and then the lettuce. Uh, I've been in the ground for two weeks. Uh, lettuce is ready to start harvesting. Uh, I've still got some work to do on building like a washing station and uh, storage for everything. Um, and that's kind of a, a kind of another hang up. I've, I've always just been so focused on growing the stuff. I kind of haven't kind of been neglecting the whole harvest side and the uh, post harvest care of the produce. So uh, that's also that's actually just as important as uh, growing the produce in the first place. So I'm going to put a lot of time and thought into that. Make sure I get a good solid uh, system that works. But yeah, here I'll take you on a, a quick tour and just show you what we've got here. So these are red beets, and then we've got golden beets. Uh, this is a red beet, but I got golden beets back here. Um, red beets are growing a lot faster, um, and you can see I'm gonna. These are the first ones I've harvested. Um, they're really, really good. We're gonna. I'm gonna cut these up tonight, and we'll we'll try some of them out for the first time. Here's the lettuce. This is uh, called a, an all-star uh, lettuce mix, I think, from Johnny's. It's, so it's a variety of uh, reds and greens and different uh, different butterleaf type uh, lettuces. And then uh, here we have jalapenos. Uh, they've already starting to get some some blossoms on there. You can you can see here we got some blossoms already starting to form on the peppers. Uh, peppers, uh, tomatoes, cucumbers in Alaska. We gotta do them in a greenhouse. Uh, we don't have enough warm nights. We, our nighttime temperatures get too cold, so they've got to be protected inside. And so I wanted to just see it all work here, um, make sure I've got proper climate for them. Um, these beets, as you can see, they're all ready to come out of the ground. They're just exploding. Uh, it's, it's pretty crazy to see how fast this stuff grows here with the uh, you know 20, 18 hours of daylight. And we got the Walla Walla onions over here. Uh, just letting some fireweed grow in here because why not? It's pretty uh, pink flower that'll blossom on top of there. I'm kind of making sure I pull out all the other weeds, the uh, 
the dandelions and whatnot, but uh, you can see some of the onions starting to bulb out already, which is really good. I didn't have any luck with them last year. I, last year I planted the onion seeds directly in the ground outside, and it was probably about this time of year when I actually planted the seeds. And uh, they grew, but I didn't get anything. Uh, they didn't bulb out or anything, and so we never really ended up with any onions. But uh, this year I think we're gonna have really nice onions, so I'm pretty excited about that. And what I did here is I took the, I rolled out the landscaping fabric in here and then I uh, stapled it down and uh, made a stencil where I used the the map gas torch so it's a little bit hotter than a propane torch and uh, burnt the holes for all the plants to sit in and then I, I laid out this drip line irrigation which has really been working well. Thank <laughs> you. 